Hi friends, welcome to YS with Santosh. In this video, I am going to give you two questions which are going to come in the UPSC prelims 2023 from science and tech section. Guys, one of the favorite topic of UPSC in the prelims from science and tech section has been mega science project. And this topic is in news this year also. Let me first explain you why this topic is important. Guys, okay, Government of India, particularly the Office of Principal Advisor to the Government of India has undertaken Mega Science Vision 2035 exercise. So what is this Mega Science Vision 2035 exercise? Guys, Mega Science projects are projects which basically involve many countries and whenever India decides to participate in this mega science project, there is a careful nationwide consultation. These nationwide consultations are known as mega science vision exercises. So they can ask you what are mega science vision exercises. So these are nothing but nationwide consultation before India decides to join any mega science project. So this mega science vision exercise was undertaken in 2014 and now again it is being undertaken and this will be basically okay done till 2035 and the major areas are high energy physics nuclear physics astronomy and astrophysics accelerator based science and technology and climate research and ecology and environment science so what are the mega science okay projects where india is involved so let us see what the government of india itself has to say so according to the pib india is involved in sega seven mega science projects and these are cern fair facility for anti proton and ion research ino indian based neutrino observatory iter international thermonuclear experimental reactor ligo laser inferometer gravitational wave ska square kilometer array and TMT 30 meter telescope. Guys, out of these seven mega science projects, UPSC in the last five to six years has already asked at least three questions. Let me show you some questions. This came in the Civil Services Prelims Examination 2017. You can see here, what is the purpose of evolved laser inferometer space antenna? You can see here, okay, laser inferometer gravitational wave so it is for detection of gravitational wave it was a very easy question again you see india is an important member of international thermonuclear experimental reactor you can see here iter and upsc has asked question on this the answer to this question was the nuclear fusion the nuclear fusion okay so guys you can see upsc from this small okay news item from this small news item and from this small okay topic of mega science project has been asking questions okay consistently consistently in the last five years okay at least three questions have come directly from these seven projects and i can assure you this year again the question is going to come either on lego or the question is going to come on ino or ska or TMT or the question can come on CERN also. So guys, please do prepare these topics. Guys, UPSC has a very scientific method of asking questions. There is a pattern. There is a reason behind that. And guys, this year why UPSC will ask a question on mega science project? Because this year, Government of India, particularly the Office of Principal Scientific Advisor to Government of India has undertaken mega science vision exercise mega science vision exercise which is nothing but a consultation process throughout the nation before india decides to join any mega science project so they can ask you any of these mega science project guys if you want to okay read these topics in depth you can go to the government of india ministry of okay science website and you can see here mega science projects and facilities exactly they have given open source drug discovery large hardened collider square kilometer array a large ion collider experiment which is the alice experiment facility for anti-proton 
एंड आई एन रिसर्च विच इज फेयर थर्टी मीटर टेलीस्कोप इंटरनेशनल थर्मो न्यूक्लियर एक्सपेरिमेंट रिएक्टर इंडियन बेस्ड न्यूट्रीनो ऑब्जर्वेटरी लेजर इंफ्रोमीटर ग्रेविटेशनल वेव ऑब्जर्वेटरी सो इन द मिनिस्ट्री वेबसाइट ओनली दे हैव गिवेन ऑल द मेगा साइंस प्रोजेक्ट एंड द रिस्पेक्टिव मिनिस्ट्रीज एंड डिपार्टमेंट्स ओके दिस इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट आई मस्ट टेल यू दैट दिस पेज इज द वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट डॉक्यूमेंट फॉर साइंस एंड टेक्स सेक्शन फॉर द फिल्म्स 2023 एंड गाइस आई कैन चैलेंज यू एट लीस्ट टू क्वेश्चन विल कम फ्रॉम दिस सिंगल पेज फ्रॉम दिस सिंगल पेज at least two questions are going to come in upsc prelims 2023 and if you go through this page you are going to thank me on the day of exam guys if you want to solve questions on these important topics guys you can choose to okay practice my most important questions for the prelims 2023 guys for the last couple of years i have been able to predict a lot of questions in the upsc prelims guys i have cracked the prelims examination all six times and i have the record of one of the highest marks ever scored by any upsc aspirant so guys if you want to maximize your marks in the next 25 days then guys please do consider solving these important questions and please go through this website mega science project and facilities which is given by the ministry itself and you can see here a very important mega science project is the ultra mega solar power project and the long term ecological observatory for climate change this is also very important even aditya is very important okay and chandrayaan 2 so all important okay pro- big science projects of government of india has been uh, mentioned here and particularly what is more important is the mega science project the seven mega science project where india is participating with other countries so guys if you like this video if you like the way in which i have analyzed the previous year questions and this year's current affairs then do consider liking this video and sharing this video with other friends guys in upsc prelims let me tell you okay if you are able to study in this format no one can stop you from qualifying the upsc prelims examination this is called okay important current themes plus the pyq plus the static knowledge if you okay if you are able to interlink current affairs with the pyq trend and the static knowledge okay no one can stop you from succeeding in the upsc prelims examination guys in this topic what did i do i picked up a current affairs then what did i do i linked it with the pyqs and then okay we can link it to some basic concepts of science on which these mega science projects are based upon so thank you friends bye bye take care